Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Lost in the Charger franchise. We are here in week two. Last week, we ended up picking up a win against the Bengals. Last week, we did address some things that we need, do need to focus on for this season and just building players. But if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's completely free. Obviously, you know, subscribing is free on this YouTube platform. Yeah, consider subscribing. But what was I saying? Something about, yeah, this team building. Um, I said this will be the last season, and I do agree this will be our last season. But for this season, we are focusing on uh, building up our defense. I think our offense is always going to be good. The line is decent enough. It's nothing amazing, but once again, it's very, very decent. And with it being very decent, I don't think we need to focus on defense. Uh, Joe Mason. He is a low overall 69, but he's very, very good. Very fast. Um, he has really, he could get after the quarterback and rush in really good. Like I said, he's a better Drew Tranquil. I just really like Joe Mason a lot. He's a very fun player to play with. I just need to get better in moving around with him. Uh, Trayvon Tapp is going to be Trayvon Tapp. Cordero Ellis comes to sometimes come for Junior. We already know the stars of our teams. Um... Marquis Harriet, um, I don't really know what type of play he's going to turn out to. Hopefully, it's a good one. He's obviously getting a lot of snaps along with Joe Mason. Not really much to get into. You're going to make some slider changes uh, just to up the coverage a little bit. So, like, our QB accuracy is nothing amazing. Pass block is nothing amazing. Catching is nothing amazing. Run blocking is nothing amazing. Like, I feel like we could lower the run block a little bit to, like, 44. See if that does anything. We don't fumble like that. We actually do fumble sometimes, but it's nothing crazy. I feel like we don't get enough of, like, the pass defense reaction time. Like, I feel like we don't get enough of that. But I'm just leave everything else how it is. I'm just going to up their stuff. Um, <clears throat> what is my pass coverage on? 47. They're just deleted on 57. I'll up it to, like, 67. And their defense reaction time is on 62. Mine is on 52. Or we'll up it to 72. All right, both their pass defense reaction time and their pass coverage is on 72. So maybe we'll make it harder. Maybe we'll make it easier. I don't know how sliders work. But anyways, we're going to into upgrades. Trying to get out these. Um, trying to get these outros. Outros. Trying to get these intros out the way quickly. As my control is about to die. Mike Edgar, who has an upgrade for us, our starting center. Who is... I feel like sometimes you don't get the blocks you need. What do you need, actually? Run block. That run block finesse is good. We'll just stick with the scheme for this, which is agile. And you get plus one to things you need, I'm guessing. I don't feel like mentioning them. Anyways, uh, Joe Mason. I was about to skip him, but I just realized Joe Mason is one of our guys. You're going to need pass coverage. Because you, you can't play zone by yourself. It's going to be very hard to build you up into that zone corner. But we're going to have to do that. Because like I said, your pass rushing stats are good. Like, you could get there. But let's actually go Phil General. I don't think it will give him zone. But I'll, I think it did. It did. And he gets an ability slot. So is that revealing his death trait already? That's kind of strange, because it doesn't say he has an ability. Like, it doesn't say he's a superstar or superstar X-Factor, but it says he has an ability slot. I don't know. That's kind of revealing to me. Uh, okay. But he's, like, he needs about 200 snaps or so. The man himself, Dorian Dale. Doesn't really matter what we go with for you. We just know it's going to be great. And... That short route could go up, but 89 is not bad. Nothing is bad on this. That's kind of the thing. So I really don't feel like... I don't know what you need. Let's go physical. Does boost you to 95. And you get plus two to stiff arm, catching traffic. Spec catch, and for some reason, trucking. Alright, we are done 
with that. Uh, player of the week was who was it? Are you doing Dale? Forgot, forgot about that. Anyways, going against the Broncos this week. Intro did end up kind of long, but maybe I cut out some things. Who knows? We'll see who they have on their team. Probably the same old people. Doesn't look like they upgraded at all. They have Justin Simmons. We know about him. Cortland Sutton, Bradley Chubb, Tony Beeson, and Drew Locke. I don't think they'll beat us, but we'll just have to see, I guess. Goals for this season in terms of this team. Obviously make the playoffs. Obviously win the Super Bowl. But some team things that we want to get done. We want to win an MVP with either one of our dominant players. Defensive players don't think you can win MVP. I think you have to have a very, 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 very overpowered and dominant team of a defensive player to win MVP. So people that win MVP, Justin Herbert, Dorian Dale, and Kareem Hunt. Those are one of my three picks for this team to win MVP. Obviously, a receiver is going to be very, very hard because even when we had 2,000 yards in the season, about almost 25 touchdowns, they still didn't give it to us. Last season with Kareem Hunt, when he had a very dominant season, nearly 2,000 yards, nearly 27 touchdowns, I believe. Still didn't give it to us. The only person that really could win it is Justin Herbert. He's had bad seasons. Well, he has, he has had bad starts. Let me not say he has bad seasons. He has had bad starts. He has very good seasons, but... Um, yeah, he just couldn't. Uh, it's those bad starts that really just take him out of it. He finishes very well. Like, Justin Herbert always finishes. It's up season one. We started very good and we finished very bad. But um, it's always good at the end for us with Justin Herbert. But we just have to have that consistent level. Wow. I forgot I put, um, I put play moments because I've been playing Madden like, um, like when I'm not recording. I'm like, why did they just do that? All right. <laughs> We're back in here now. There we go. Good uh, first gain. Nice little yardage right there. We're going to have to just try to get him involved in those slants. That's what I know I'm just not doing. I'm not, like, really looking for him on the slant. Not slants, on the drags. Which is a good route to look for him on. Because he's very well at doing that. Yeah, just, they read that out completely, and now it is second and 15. We'll see what gets open. Is it going to be Kareem Hunt or Dorian Dale? Not Kareem Hunt, Hunter. Beautiful. It was two routes over the middle. I just had to wait for them to get open. It was either, like I said, Hunter Henry or Tony Burton. And now we are kind of rolling a little bit. Minus that bad screen. Ooh, that was a good break tackle by uh, Kareem. Because the guy broke off the line at literally the last second. Like, right when I'm about to get past him, he broke off. It's going to be a touchdown. Nope. Just a nice little gain right there, Tony Burton. Since he's going to be our main slot guy, he's going to get a lot of catches. He might even get a dev up this season. Whole scenario to dev up, let me say that. I keep saying dev up when it's like you don't get a dev up like that. There we go, Kareem. That's going to be his third, well, fourth touchdown of the season. He had three touchdowns last week. I don't remember that for some reason. I remember him having two touchdowns, Dorian Dale having three. But he does get in right there for an easy yard. Well, easy, not yard, but easy gain for the touchdown. It's going to put a seven a zip. I upped the pass coverage. I mean, the pass coverage looked like it did improve a little bit, but it's on 72. And the defense reaction time is on 72. And I need to know, our... Um, sliders, are they reversed? Like, the more you put it up, the worse they play, or the less you put it up, the better they play? I just really don't know. Because I just feel like they play worse. And I feel like our coverage is not bad, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's just a Madden thing. I don't feel like it's even a me. 
just like it's a, it's a gameplay thing. It's like something sliders cannot fix, which is kind of fucked up. But it is what it is. How do we not get to him in time? Like he threw that shit so fast. Who's this running back? Ah, DeAndre Swift. I have him in one of my other leagues that I'm currently playing. Not league, but it's uh, just a different franchise. That's a good tackle with it by a channel. I'm flipping my words there a little bit, but it's alright. We'll be fine. That's me. I moved because I seen someone open on the right side, and I'm like, I have to cover that. But I really should have stayed where I was at. And stopped being so fucking nosy. I gotta break that up, Denario. His parents really named him Demario. Like, can we just think about that for a second? Alright, we're giving up a lot. I mean, I like it. They're getting a lot, so... It's making the gameplay better in a way. Because who has fun when I just dominate? I mean, last season was just a... In my opinion, it's not a good one because it's just me dominating the whole time. Like, I think it was interesting in terms of, like, watching how I dominate, but... That's a good tackle by Mason. Oh, what a catch! Emmanuel. He kind of played late on him, but he still ended up recovering. It was a good spot to go in, I'm not going to lie. They're not even going to show a replay for that like it didn't happen. They're just going to show Kareem Hunt stats from last week. Kareem Hunt did have a good la last week, but uh, show Emmanuel some more love. I'm always killing him for getting burnt, but it's not even him getting burnt anymore. There we go. There we go. He got to outrun everybody. He might. He might. He will. Oh, my God. Tony. Hit the corner. Outran the cornerbacks and safeties. Possibly linebackers on that play. Around the scene, they blitzed the safety or something. I don't, I don't even know what was the play. It looked like man coverage. We're going to see the play in a minute. And yeah. It was man coverage. Mainly linebackers blitzing. Safety. I don't know who the safety was covering. Maybe the running back in that situation? Interesting. But that's going to put us up 14 to. They had a chance to score points last time. They drove down the field pretty good. Uh, didn't seem like we had an answer for them down the field on defense. But... They do end up throwing into an end zone, so that's a little tough. They're switching. They're going five out. Gotta cover a lot right here. And he goes down. It's under Wolfu. Coming in on the pressure. We're gonna run man coverage for third down. Cordero Ellis. I should have probably used her Cordero Ellis on that one because he just did not look like a key with DeAndre Swift. But it's 4 4. We do actually get a stop. They almost converted right there, but quite didn't. Uh, it was just a, the sack really did it for them, man. 
Them getting sacked really hurt them. Gonna go to play action. Doesn't really fool anybody. Still gonna throw it. Dorian still catches it. Contested catch. Six for six. 157 yards so far. And we're still early in this uh, third quarter. Second quarter. I'm gonna say first half. Then third quarter got in my head. And then words. Have Kareem Hunt go deep and see what gets open. All right, Tony. I need to look for Joe Reed because this is going to be the second game in a row where he's not going to be involved. There has to be a way I can incorporate him into this offense. I can't, I can't do it. I have to just. We didn't get in there? Are you kidding me? Good stop by them, I guess. I guess. Alright, it's definitely going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to block everybody and hit Joe Reed. How did that linebacker play that so well? I'm going for it because I'm disrespectful. Obviously, we're going to block everybody. Put Tony on a drag, and Joe Reed on a slant, and let's make some magic happen. No magic happening, so I'm just going to run it myself. Easy, just a running touchdown. I didn't feel like we could have handed the ball to the running back and run it. I felt like we had to pass it, and everything got open, obviously, pass it, but nothing got open. My initial look was Tony Burton. And yeah, it's going to put us up 21 to 0. I don't know. I feel like the Broncos is not a good team. I don't feel like they. Uh, did anything well in that sense. I feel like the only time they had something good was with Melvin Gordon. And who knows what Melvin Gordon is now? Obviously, this, this was three years ago in the game. And we haven't seen him since, honestly. We might have seen him like year three, kind of. But I remember one year, he just wasn't in the game. He was like an active player, but he just wasn't playing. It wasn't because his overall was just, I don't know. He could have been hurt or something, but obviously he's not on the team now. For sure he's not on the team. Alright, good running by DeAndre. He runs his 43 yards. We're going to blitz y'all, since y'all think y'all so tough. And he goes down. That's what that blitz does. Matt Bryan with the sack. And another thing about this team, we have so many fucking superstars and superstar X Factors that it's ridiculous. I just, I don't know why we get burnt on slant so much. I just don't understand it. Like, that is the one route, especially to the side, that we get burnt on so much. Even though I'm telling them shade inside. So they get a seven points. I would say a seven point lead, but that's not true. <laughs> they get a um, they get a score in the field, and that's nice for them. That's momentum for them. I don't know if they get ball at. They probably don't get ball at half, honestly. Because I did, like, skip it. Not really skip it, but things happen. Whatever. Who cares? Justin Herbert having a fantastic day so far. I just think if you have a superstar X Factor quarterback, it's gonna be very, 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 very hard not to perform well with him. Especially if you have at least some decent receivers. Yeah, it's gonna be really fucking hard to perform well. 
to not perform well with him. Did they just hold the same play twice? That play was that good, you had to show it twice? No! He just went unblocked. Jonathan Simmons. And we are down. Another sack. They end up calling another timeout. Um, nothing got open. Probably just a bad play on my part. Is it going to be a hole? Should not be roughing the quarterback. Alright, maybe it should be. <laughs> I don't... I didn't, I, I didn't think that was it, but... Alright, give him another 15. I literally have to play so deep. And they're just going short. And they get another first down. What are they going to do? Hurry up? Well, maybe I don't have to. Actually, going to run a play here. Interesting call. Alright, what are they going to do? Going to have to kind of spike. They don't elect to spike. They like to run a play. And it's into them. They're not going to get points right here. We're actually going to have a chance to score. Greedy Williams with the touchdown. He is the guy I was mentioning that does get burned a lot on our team. Um, taking this to half, 21-7. Uh, do we get ball? Do we? We do. So that's very bad for them. They could have spiked it, just took their field goal. And what about their day? Would have been up. Well, not would have been up. Score would have been 21 to 10. But no, now you're in a position you just was in. 21-7. So, you know, it is what it is. A little bad decision by them. I mean, they felt like they could have took a shot. And I agree. They had an opportunity to take a shot. It wasn't a bad one. Uh, they took it and it just didn't work out. Because they would never called it and I would never called it. It would have just been, um, that's bad. That's very really bad. Probably should have lobbed it in that situation, touch pass or something. Not a bullet. That's not the pass you do. What I was saying about the um, thing, they're not about uh, to get a score. And now they're about to get a score. They're switching something. Is this their famous play? Wow. Our edge rushers got in crazy. Joey Bosa and um, what's his face? What? My control is not disconnected. I'm literally looking at it. Is it really disconnected? It really was. That's crazy. It could have been a big play situation. My controller would have died. They're flipping it. We'll have to see what this play is. There'd be times they could go deep, especially on me. Joey Bosa's hurt. This is not good. Joey Bosa is down. So they wouldn't call this anything. Look, look, look. Play is done. He throws it. Uh, catch is made and all. And after the play. Not after the play. Well, before the play is still going. There's no point of you doing this because there's no way he's going to get to the receiver. He pushes him down. Something happened. And now Joey Bosa's down. So it's going to be 4th and 11. Oh, it is 4th and 11. They're going to take a field goal. Something they should have took last time around. So I guess, you know, the universe has a weird way of working things out. Things that should happen will eventually always find a way to happen, I guess. 21-10. I think we just threw our first intro of the season, so. That's always great. So Joey Bush has an elbow sprain. We are actually going to substitute... Matt Bryan in right now. I feel like is called for. And they're blitzing us a lot right now, which is, you know, that's always fine. It is what it is. Blitz us. Do as you feel. There we go, Dorian. 
Nice gain, just simple drag. And he has 5,000 career receiving yards. Oh, I couldn't get out of it. That's crazy. That's a good. That's a good uh, play though. Um, Hunter Henry with the streak. Dorian with the drag. I really thought we would get some big yards on that one. Let's actually run the ball a little bit right here. We kind of got away from the ball since we found some success passing the ball. Still spinning for some reason. I spent twice. I didn't want to do. It. I wanted to juke. What a catch, Hunter. Oh, my God. He had a linebacker on him. I knew he could do it as music is fucking blasting. Wow, that's such a monster catch right there. Easy. Dorian. You know what's going to happen every time? If one thing is for certain in life, one thing for certain. If I start to record, there's guarantee going to be some noise happening somewhere. In or outside of this house. I'm telling you, it's always going to fucking happen. Is Sean McVay their coach? So it's third quarter, it's coming to that time in the game where the game's getting away from the opposing team. They're gonna have to figure out some type of game plan to keep them in it. I don't know what to do. They're like they're getting these yards, but they're not getting scoring opportunities. I, I don't know, man. They're not really taking shots either. It's like I'm covering where they should be taking shots at. They're just not taking them. Yo, I'm getting tired of this fucking music. I feel like it's played three times already. And let me assure you, this song is not that good to be playing three times. Oh my god, thank you, bro. Like, I said thank you and they switched the song. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. Really, DeAndre Swift is trucking me? I'm gonna handle this. The most I could do is close my window and pray it stops. They're just getting us in the same spot over the middle. We're just not there. Because if we cover over the middle, the flat's going to be open. Hit them, don't run hard flats right here. And literally cover this middle because I'm going to have to. You see what I mean? It's such a tough situation for me. Like, what do I do? Because it's impossible to cover both. I covered over the middle and then, no, no, I covered over the top and then I shaded down over the middle. But I can't do both. That's the thing. Tony Burton, I don't think Joe Reed has a catch today. He might have a touchdown. That's about it. Bro, I cannot record right now. I'm telling you. I'm going to power through this recording. But it is impossible to focus. There you go, Joe. Nice. The ball, I felt like the ball was there, and he has a high ankle sprain. Yeah, he's going to be out for a while. So his MVP chances are kind of dead right here now, which is very annoying.
It's called a bounce. Yeah, that's a very annoying. Um, Kareem Hunt is going to be out for, I want to say, at least half of the season. Maybe more. High ankle sprain is very scary for players. Could be a touchdown. Nope. On the one. It's all right. So since we're going to have no run game for maybe the remainder of the season, do we sign someone? Uh, Ronald comes back. Ronald comes back. Ronald comes back in a couple weeks at this point. So maybe we could get something. Are we just going to wait? I don't know. Nick Black. Then he has first career rushing touchdown on that one. Gonna put us up 34 to 17. This team is very like I feel like it's they play good in terms of getting the yards, but they just don't take the shots they need to take. They go short when there's something downfield. But now you have nowhere to go, and now Matt Bryant is gonna get you. Second sack of the game. I think the only reason he's getting him is because Joey Bosa's out. And we're giving Matt Bryan a chance to see what he would do without him on this team. And I feel like Matt is actually doing a pretty good job. Are you serious? And he still catches that shit. You have to be kidding me. But we do get a tackle for loss, though. Which is always good to see. Are they going to run this right here? No way y'all just giving up. It goes short. Uh, so I was going to be a punt right here. Yeah, you have to. You're on the 14-yard line. And game is kind of over from here on out, I'm guessing. Like, we would have to throw an intel, fumble, pick six. It would have to be something ridiculous. Nice catch. I was looking at Joe Reed, but that throw is going to be very hard to make. There you go, Joe. There you go. I want him to fucking hit him. It's all right, Joe. Maybe your second catch of the day. Really, Joe? I really want you for that jump ball. I'm going to target you again. Didn't catch it twice. All right. Whatever. We'll just uh, run the ball. Joe, make a play. There you go. Took you three tries, but you did it nonetheless. Nice high pass ball. Little lob right there. It's going to be 41 to 17. And we missed the field goal. Doesn't really matter. We're up by 100. DeAndre Swift was having a good game in the beginning. But as of now, he only had three carries since then. And the three carries have not been much. I'm actually going to stick in hard flats to see if it does anything to this team. Because they're just targeting the flat. They're not really going over the middle. And when they do go over the middle, it's not really anything. Look, look, oh my god. That was clamped. A Chenderwosu with a half a sack. Probably him and Matt Bryan is the one that got in. We're going to run that again because why was they clamped like that? They're not, they can't go with 519 left in the game, right? Uh, Joe Mason with the pick six. Let's go, Joe. My boy Joe, let's go. Turned around just in time to catch the ball. That's going to put us up 48 to 17. Could have been 58 to 17, not 58, 49 to 17. We didn't miss that extra point just a moment ago. 
So for some reason, hard flats. Well, we we know what type of teams are going to hard flats against now. Look, we actually introed that. Oh my god! It's like he took it from him, like literally took it from his hands. I felt like that's what it was. That's me. And that's a might be a pick six. All right, Dorian actually caught him. I threw it way too early, like way too early. He got bumped off, and I threw it. Well, we know what to do here. See what I mean? They even went short, where that's not a situation you can go shorter. And I'm saying then that's fourth down. Nope, it's only third. And two minute warnings coming up, so. I'm trying to get out of here even quicker. Imagine they call a play right here. They do. Oh my god. They actually call a play. They're actually going deep. Denario. It's actually a very good uh, interception. Good run right for two minute warning. And now we will get out of here. Hopefully they don't call timeouts. If they call timeouts, I'm going to be so mad. The game is finally over. Once again, another dominating win, even though we upped the pass coverage, upped the defensive uh, reaction time. But something that's good that didn't happen was Kareem Hunt got hurt. Uh, we don't know how long he's going to be out. But it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough loss for us, actually. Even though we did win the game, we did lose one of our biggest pieces on the offense, if not the, well, it's not, he's not the biggest. So Justin Herbert um, had a kind of a bad game in terms of the interceptions. He had 391 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Two interceptions was very unlike him as of late. And when I say as of late, I mean like in terms of uh, the past few games he played, including last season's playoff games. Rushing the ball, DeAndre Swift had a good first go at it. He had the same amount of um, so that's Kareem. 11 rushes, 50 yards. 11 rushes, 51 yards. Um, Nick Black came in the game and kind of played good. I'm telling you, with the offensive line, the offensive line is very decent. So, yeah, you come in this team, you're going to probably have good yards. Receiving, Tony Burton had a very breakout-ish game. Five catch, 165 yards, one touchdown. Dorian Dell did the same Dorian Dell stuff. Six catch, 107. Joe Reed has four catches, 47 yards, for one touchdown. And Hunter Henry had three catches, 50 yards. I think that's the type of uh, player screen, um, Hunter Henry's going to be unless he has to have a down in the game, which I'm, I'm never really looking for him to have a down in the game. Hunter Henry's more of a decoy for us. More of a decoy. And Kareem Hunter one catch for negative five. Defensively, though, tackle loss, uh, Sherrod Millbrooks had two, Chen Rosso had one, Cordell Ellis had one, and Joe Mason had one, and intercept, well, let's go to Sacks. Sacks, Chen Rosso had two and a half, Matt Bryant had two and a half, and Joey Bosa had one, he had to leave the game over early, though. Denario Diggs had an interception, Kenneth Murray had an interception, and Greedy Williams, and Joe Mason, and Emmanuel Mosley. I don't know why I thought today was my nice day. It's Saturday for sure. Um, yeah, we are going to see how long our running back is going to be out for. He had a high ankle sprain. Who knows what that could be, man? Is he even out? He's not. Um, okay, is Joey Bosa out? Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. That's that was that I guess. Uh, no breakout player. Uh, we know about the contracts. Weekly award. Justin Herbert. There's 91 yards, three passing touchdowns, two touchdowns, two sacks. Yeah, he had a a very good week. And Greedy Williams actually had player of the week. His first. Greedy making his name known. Uh, in week two. I like that. I like that. So Chargers continue to dominate. We face the Raiders next week. They are 2-0. and oh, Interesting. So I was really looking. All right. Raiders 2-0. and oh. We're 2-0. and oh. It's going to be a first week uh, loss of the week. Um, I'll make more slide changes next week. Probably upping. I don't know what we should up. We'll talk about it next week. We can kind of check where our players are for um, 
I would say revealization. That's not a word. So 344 snaps, he has played in 500. He needs somewhere 100 more, or like at least 100 more. Not at least, but 100 or more, basically. And he's the same way. Um, Like I said, he'll probably get definitely revealed by week eight, but in terms of how many yards, not how many yards, how many snaps they're playing, I'm going to say about week four, week five. Yeah, like as of week five, like after week four, all right, <laughs> let me get it. But, but, but by week five, he should uh, be revealed. It said he had ability, so we know he's going to be superstar or better. What'd you have to see for that? Um, once again, if you didn't enjoy, be sure. Don't forget to be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next video. But until next video. Peace. All over the world, I need me a passport. Yeah. And heard of your girl, I've been moving past her. Actually, I just declined the calls in a text. She ain't promote my shit to say I'm next. When I got better things, she say I love far. We, we, we rolling up, rolling up, though. We high off this gas.